Hi, my name is Javier Wilensky. Hi, this is Mariana Scotti. And we are giving you a preview of what we are going to do in our beginner series workshop. So, uh, this is what you need. Your mat, we're going to be using the wall and you need a strap. If you don't have a, a yoga strap, you can use a belt, a long towel. Uh, Anything handy, else. you know, something to grab your foot. So now I will be teaching her and you can follow us. So the first pose is called Sutta Tadasana. So as you see, her hips right now are legs distant from the chair, but I'm gonna ask her to move this buttocks closer towards the wall, move the buttocks closer towards the wall and then move the buttocks towards the wall now and then roll the shoulders back Can you see that she's rolling the shoulders back and puffing the chest upwards now maintaining that action she is pressing the feet against the wall and extending the legs and then what she you should be feeling right now is that the back of the neck is extending but the shoulders are extending can you see how the chest is puffing upwards and the forex is being pulled towards the wall. Now, maintaining those actions, the front thigh has to descend downwards and then maintaining the shoulder blades on the floor, bring your right leg to Ekapadapa Muttasana. So take your, your hand to the shin bone and bring the shin bone towards the head side. Bring the shin bone towards the head side, that will lower the thigh. So keep rolling the shoulders back, keep lifting the chest, and descend the left thighs downwards. Now, take the strap. So grab the strap in both sides of the hands. Don't hold it this way, hold it this way. And then extend the leg by bringing the heel closer towards the ceiling. Now, the tendency is that this hip will move towards the, the armpit. Don't let that happen. Bring your right hip towards the wall. Now bring your front thigh closer towards the wall and then move the top of the shoulders downwards and puff your chest up again. Maintain the extension of the left leg and move your right hip away from the armpit. Take the strap with your right hand. Now as you press your left thigh downwards, bring your right leg towards the right. And keep creating length in the, these sides of the trunk. So the right buttox again has to move away from the armpit. Let it go away from the armpit. And then keep lifting the chest and roll the right abdomen towards the left. Bring your right leg up. Bend the leg and then extend both legs towards Sukta Tadasana and then start again. Bend the legs again and walk, scoop your buttocks all the way towards the wall. Bring your buttocks all the way. Yes, there you go. Now rotate the inner arms up. Bring the top of the buttocks towards the heels and then roll the shoulders back and press your feet against the floor to keep lengthening the whole skin of the back of the neck and so the forex is being pulled towards the wall. Now once again, as she's pressing the right thigh, she bends the left leg. Hold the shin bone, bring the shin bone towards the head side, and puff your chest upwards. The shoulder blade has to descend downwards. So this should not go up, this has to go down. Then, with the strap, or the towel, or the belt, Pull the, the middle of the arch and extend the leg. Keep extending the, right, the left leg toward, through the heel. And again, the left hip has to move away from the armpit. Now take both straps, take both straps with left hand. And then press the palm against the floor. Keep bring your right shoulder blade downwards and move your left hip away from the armpit. Lengthen the left inner drum. Can you see this has to lengthen? You should feel an extension from the inner groin upwards towards the heel. Now 
some of your shoulders away from the ears. And keep descending the right thigh downwards. Go and then slowly come up. Go bend the leg, extend both legs. Go and then once again, roll the shoulders under, bend the legs. Bring your forex towards the heel. Can you see the, there is a, pel, a, a tilt on the pelvis? Do it again. You have to tilt the pelvis. And then roll the shoulders under once again. Again, the chest lift upwards. And then, wait, no, no, no. Bring, bend the legs. And then press your feet down. Lift your forex up. Bring your thighs to your chest. And then extend the legs to Urva Praserita Padasana. Now, if you cannot extend the legs, then what you can do to have everything handling, put your fist under your sacrum so the legs can extend. So ideally, your legs won't be here, okay? It will be 90 degrees angle. If this is still too much, you can keep adding high under the body. The shoulders has to roll back at all times, as much as possible. Go on then. Bend the legs, bring your feet towards the floor. And then once again, roll the shoulders under. Press your feet down and lift your forex up. And then roll the shoulders under. Now, she can go closer towards the head. So when she goes closer towards the head, she can go with the forex upwards. And every time you bring the forex upwards, the chest lifts. When you lift the chest, then there is energy flowing in the front chest, the breath becomes easier, and you gain more energy. So there is many benefits of this pose, and many benefits of the other poses. Bring your forex down. So the poses that we've done also bring circulation to the groins. So that's a great thing to do. So now she will go away from the wall this time. We don't need the wall anymore. Bend the legs. And then this is Shavasana. So you have time to relax and absorb all the knowledge that you just gained. So roll the shoulders under once again. Forex towards the wall. So it's a pelvic tilt. And then extend one leg at a time and then the other. And then the palms face upwards. Important that you see that you're balancing the mat. You just, Mariana, look forward and check that your feet are even. And then she's checking, she's sure that she's in the middle of the, the mat, and that gives you a sense of evenness between right and left. So now it's time for relaxation, for observation, for contemplation. Shavasana is not only going to sleep, but it's an You have to be alert and aware of the relaxation that is happening within you. Close your eyes, let go, let loose that feeling. When you're ready, bend the legs. left hand look downwards to come up. So this is a little preview of what we are gonna do, what we are gonna learn. We are gonna go in detail, more in detail with these things and you will learn from all these exercises. This is, there is a limit of what you can do online but there is a lot that we can do face to face. So we, we will spend time with you. We are two teachers. Mariana is an amazing teacher. And the idea why we are teaching together is so we can meet your needs. So that's what we are doing.